There are a ton of different ice lines on the market today. We've got mono, we've got floral, we've got braid. And in this video, we're gonna to talk to you about which best ones are gonna fit your fishing style. Check it out. Hey everyone, Mike here with Shields Outdoors. I'm in the Fargo store with my buddy Jaden, and today we're gonna to be talking about line, line types, and what types of line are gonna be best for your specific style of fishing. Jaden, can you just run through the different types of lines and like what, how each of them are different? Absolutely. So like you said, we have three main types of ice fishing line. You got floral, you got monofilament, and you got braid. Probably the most common and the least expensive option is going to be monofilament. Now the advantage of the monofilament, it has a very hard time freezing up. It's not made of any woven fibers. It's a single filament line. So it's not gonna hold as much water. It's gonna shed a lot better. That's best for if you're gonna be doing a lot of run and gun fishing outside in the cold weather. It's also nice because it got some stretch. Now, a lot of us are into the craze of using rip and wraps, glide baits, baits with very small treble hooks, and that stretch is really key, so you're not gonna pull hooks out of fish's mouth. It's also nice for fishing really shallow water. So here's an example of one of the monofilaments we carry. And we talked about stretch, and what I mean by stretch is, monofilament has what's called like a rubber band effect. There's a lot of give and a lot of play in that line. I can move it pretty easy when you pull on it. The monofilament comes in a variety of different pound tests, each one works best for different ice fishing applications. Two and three pound tests, very thin micro finesse lines are gonna work best for guys who are fishing very clear water or maybe spooky pressured fish because they have to use very small lifelike presentations just to get bit. Four pound is kind of your bread and butter all around pan fish line. Crappies, perch, bluegill will work for dang near any situation you could think of. Six pound is probably your best do it all line in ice fishing. Maybe a little heavy for panfish, but works great for big crappies, big perch, all around great line for walleye. Then you start moving into eight. That's gonna work best for the guy who's running and gunning, fishing outside for bigger walleyes. Just that little bit extra strength to be able to handle those fish. The next type of line we're gonna talk about today is fluorocarbon, also known as floral. Now floral has two key instances where it's used. Most common use for floral is gonna be for leader material. Typically using anywhere from 12 to 36 inches of line from your main line to whatever lure you're gonna be using. Why does floral work so well as a leader material? Because it's very abrasion resistant. Way more abrasion resistant than mono. The other instance where fluorocarbon shines is going to be deep water panfish. So being that it sinks and is very dense, it's gonna help you get down to those panfish, especially if you're using small tungsten jigs. Now for you deep water pan fishermen, if you're going to be using floral as your main line, I highly encourage you to consider spooling it on some kind of inline or straight line reel. Why? Now as many benefits as fluorocarbon has, one negative it has is it's a very stiff line. It's going to hold a lot of memory if you try and spool it on a smaller ice ice size spinning reel. It's gonna have a lot of line twists and that jig's gonna constantly be spinning. You're gonna have some spinning anyway from constantly jigging your little tungsten jig, but using a straight line reel is gonna help severely cut down on those line twists, helping you catch more fish. The last type of fishing line we're gonna be talking about today is going to be braid. Braid has a few very unique properties that make it excel. The first is that it has no stretch. That's gonna shine anytime you're fishing in deep water. Once again, we're talking deeper than 20 feet of water. No stretch is gonna give you the best hook sets and keep those fish pinned all the way up to the hole. Braid is super abrasion resistant. The most abrasion resistant out of all three types of line. So as you're reeling up that fish and you see that line constantly rubbing at the edge or the side of your hole, you can know with confidence that you're still gonna be able to land that fish without your line failing. Now like all other lines, braid is gonna come in a variety of tests. Two, three, and four pound braid, though not very common, excel if you're fishing finesse panfish in deep water. Six and eight pound tests are gonna be most common for all walleye perch applications. Then you start stepping into 10, 15, or 20. That's where you start thinking trophy walleyes, Greenback Lake Winnipeg walleyes, or those 15, 20 pound tests for guys who are making those trips out west or up north for lake trout or giant pike through the ice. Well, there you have it, guys. We've covered all three types of ice fishing line, mono, floral, and braid. Now remember, all of these lines will work and will get the job done. But hopefully, with the information provided to you today, we've answered your questions, or at least been able to help you figure out which line will work for your ice fishing application. 
And remember guys, please subscribe to Shields Outdoors on YouTube. We're gonna have a ton of great content featuring some of the best anglers across the ice belt all season long for all different types of fishing and species. Best of luck this ice season guys. Stay warm, tight lines.